Hi there, we're at Collingwood School in West Vancouver today with Emily Ann King and her mom, Joanne Griffiths. Now, we're here with these two lovely women because they're behind a really great program called Backpack Buddies. You know, we all assume um, the kids that get hot breakfasts in the morning at school and some lunches that they're doing great for the week. But the problem is it's the weekend. Mm -hmm. right. right? People forget mm -hmm. about the kids that don't have any food during the week that, yeah. that happens on the weekend. So tell me a little bit, you guys, about starting this program. Collaboratively, we decided we were going to do something. And so we started with this school here. We came to them and said, uh, do you want to fundraise for us? Mm -hmm. And the very first week, we delivered 20 backpacks of food on a Friday uh, to kids in the inner city to take home. And now we have uh, we do about 1,000 a month, just over 1,000 a month. And we have. Uh, 11 schools donating into the program every other week and we have eight recipient schools. Tell me a little bit about that. We're in a time right now whether you know you're at home just cooking for yourselves and you notice the difference in yeah. price of food. How is it affecting you guys when it comes to putting these uh, packages together? I think um, more than anything it affects the ability to provide nutritious food. Mm -hmm. We're able to get our hands on a lot of reasonably priced food that's very lacking in nutrition. So sort of the craft dinners and things mm. like that which isn't ideal but something is better than nothing and hopefully with that uh, with some more funding we'll be able to to increase that nutrition you do it bi-weekly right now yeah when are you going to expand the hope would be september that's, that's our goal and yeah. um, so it's a matter of getting enough donor schools into the program uh to fill the off weeks um because every school they don't you know they we ask a lot of the schools each month to donate in twice a month to the program and so it would be too much for them to do it every week. So we now have to find either more donor schools or different avenues of uh, fundraising for those off weeks thing on a weekly basis. It's one of those things though, right? It's great that you're successful and you're building, you're able to help more schools, but then you want to pull back and say, why do we have to even do this at all, right? Well, that's my biggest thing, and that's what I've been working on for the last five years, even mm -hmm. before I started this program. This is a Band-Aid. Right. We yeah. need programs that can actually fix this problem, but while there's a problem with kids that are hungry, mm -hmm. we have to provide this Band-Aid. Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing.